That leads us to Dawn as the first alert team is also preparing for hurricane season as well, Don. Oh, that's right. First day officially today and sure enough, we could have our first tropical storm later on tonight. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit, but you know, you hear the term thrown around El Nino, and that can mean bad things for certain areas in the country, but it can also mean good things when it comes to hurricane season for us here in the Carolinas. For more on El Nino's effects, let's check in with meteorologist Steve Stewart. We are in an El Nino season, which typically means less action in the tropics, but the NOAA is actually countering that and saying it's a more normal year because of two things. Sea surface temperatures a little bit above average, plus more activity should be coming off the coast of Africa, spawning some storms. So they're forecasting 12 to 17 storms, five to nine, which could be hurricanes and major storms one to four. And you can see that's really close to the average. And here we are June 1st, and there is a disturbance off the coast there of uh, New Orleans going to keep an eye on that could develop about a 50 50 chance and that should move down towards Cuba, bring some heavy rain to Florida, but no impact for us. Thanks, Steve. And right now we're putting the finishing touches on our ABC 11 first alert hurricane special. We're breaking down what to expect this season and what you can do right now to be ready. It airs Saturday, June 10th at 7 p.m. and it doesn't really matter what kind of hurricane season we're going to see Amber. It only takes one storm mm -hmm. to cause massive problems, so you should be preparing now so that when that storm hits, you're ready to go. Yeah, we say it every year. Right. And, yeah. It only takes one. It only takes so one. So get on that kit now if you haven't done it. If you're new to the area, go to abc11.com. You can find out how to make a hurricane kit. Yeah, we've seen our share here yep. of severe weather. All right, Don, thank you. Sure.